social media reports. Don't worry, they're really easy to make and a lot of fun. I want to show you step by step how you can make them using only Canva. Are you ready? Let's go. Just before we dive in, let's understand what exactly is a social media report. Well, it's a simple, smart, easy to understand report that shows the value of your social media activity. Although it's all about data, it's concrete, it's visual, and you should keep it simple, easy to follow, and always stay focused. Before you start creating your social media report, ask yourself these two questions. Number one, who is your audience? Is it for your team, for your board, or is it for your donators? Two, what are you reporting? These questions will guide you when you create the social media report. So are you ready? Let's dive in and see how we create the most beautiful social media report using Canva. So here on the home page, I'm just going to click up here, social media report. You will get a lot of beautiful templates all about social media reports. It is so easy to create your own. You just have to pick the one you like and then make a few adjustments according to your brand kit, your logo, your color palette, and your fonts. So let's say I'm going to pick this one. Now, as you can see on the left, I have a lot of pages in this social media report that I'm not necessarily going to use. So for this tutorial, I'm just gonna use a few, the most interesting ones, and let's start the process and see how quickly and easy it is. So first thing, I'm going to change the photos in the background. I already uploaded my photos to a special folder I named Social Media Report. I recommend you do that because this makes the whole process a lot easier when you have everything in one place. So I'm just going to go down here to Folders and I'm going to look for my Social Media Report. There it is. And here I have my photos. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the first photo with this one. But then you'll see once I drag and replace the photo, it adapts the filter that was already in it. So you can see it's black and white. Let's just move this a little. Perhaps I'll just delete it. So I don't want this black and white filter. I'm just going to go up to filter and click on none. Then I get the original colors of my photo. Now I want to change the second photo and I picked already something that will complement my photo with a laptop. So it's this one, I'm just gonna drag it. Also cancel the filter. And now let's just double click on that, move it a little so we can see more of the flowers. Click on done and that's it. Now the last thing I have to do is change colors and fonts. So it's going to be super easy. I'm going to click on this golden element at the bottom and just open my color palette and pick my light blue. Here you see I have my color palette that I already made for my nonprofit organization. Okay, this is just an imaginary nonprofit organization and I'm going to click on this light blue and I'm going to change the text to a dark blue. Now once I click on that, you can see everything is grouped. I have this dashed line frame. So I'm just going to ungroup this and I'm going to click on March 2020 and change that to 2021. And I'll just color this with my dark blue. There it is. Now let's see what's going on with this title, quarter one social media report. I'm going to move this a little. I have this text box I'm going to delete. Let's see, perhaps this would look better in one row or two. No, I'm just gonna leave this with three rows. Perhaps just adjust the spacing a little bit. And what I'm going to do, since it's not so easy to read this white over this very bright photo, I'm just going to use the effect, the text effect, which is called lift. And once you do that, look what happens to my text. It's a lot clearer. So I think this will do, and I will just leave this here. And the last thing I have to do is type in my text at the bottom. Let's zoom in so we can see everything better prepared by, okay, this should be me. And I'm just gonna delete the second one. Okay, so now I want to make sure this is centered. The easiest way to do that is just go to position once you click on the text box 
and click on center and you know that you are 100% centered. I'm just going to close everything on my text so I can be as precise as possible. I'm just going to do this again and there you go. So my first page is already done. Now let's see what we have on the second page. So here's an about page that tells people about my organization. So I'm not going to type anything here. You're going to do this on your own, but I'm just going to show you how easy it is to change the colors of the background and of the text so that it will be visually consistent. So let's click on this. I'm going to ungroup all these text boxes. And now once I click on this gold font, and I'm going to change this to my dark blue. And then underneath here, you can see that I can click here and change everything that is gold to blue. This makes things a lot easier. And once I click on that, everything that was gold changed into blue. You can see all the pages, all the text that was gold has now turned to blue. So back to this page, I want to color the background the same light blue as this element. Now, one thing I can do is just open again my color palette and choose my light blue, or I can just click on this element, go up here to the style brush, copy it, and then once I click on my background, boom, you have it. So this makes the work a lot easier. Let's change the photo here. I'm just gonna place maybe this photo instead. Oh, these are two photos. Okay, I'm just going to delete this and I'm going to put my photo right here and I'm going to place it all the way down here. Now I can just double click on this and decide which part of my photo is going to show. I can give a little more. Let's center this a little bit. That's good enough. Now I'm going to change this as well as the same color as my background. I'm just going to go to the style brush again and here I have, let's just zoom in. Now here I have the page number and I have my organization's name and this is grouped. So let's ungroup this. You can put your logo here or just type in the name of your organization. So let's say I'm just going to type in my nonprofit organization. And now what I'm going to do actually is I'm just going back to fit. I can copy paste this on every single page and it will be exactly in the same place. You don't have to fight this or eyeball this. This is super simple. Let me show you. Once I click on this and I right click on my mouse and I go for copy. Then I go down here and I delete this. And then I right click and do paste. It will paste it exactly in the same place. So when people scroll down or if this will be a PDF or a website or a presentation, the name of my logo will always be still at the same place. So I have this page already done. Let's go to page number three and let's say I delete this and I delete this and let's stay with this one. Now here I have my monthly total engagement. So this is again going to be super easy. I'm just going to change the colors to my light blue. So I go here, go to the brush, and then I have to go every time to the brush. And then I'm just going to click on this one and I have my colors ready. And let's color the text blue and change everything that's white to blue. Now I'm going to change this gold as well to this light blue. I can still do this with my brush. See how easy it is? Now let's say that these are my numbers. I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm going to change the photos. Now this is a grid with three photos. Not sure I want these three photos. So I'm just going to give you an idea. Sometimes we don't have enough photos or we don't want to use too many photos. If this page is talking about engagement, the easiest thing is to go to photos right here and then search for engagement. You will find some incredible photos under engagement. And let's say, for example, I'm just going to delete this grid here. I'm going to take this photo. I'm just going to click on this engage. I'm going to place it up here. I'm going to stretch it a little bit. See how good it looks. And I'm just going to position this behind the text box. And this looks great. It complements my color palette. It's very slick and very chic and not too cluttered. 
So let's see, I want to change this again. If I haven't copied anything yet, then Canva still remembers what I copied before. So now look what happens. I'm gonna delete this and then I'm just gonna right click and paste and I have my nonprofit organization name, boom, in the right place. So I have this page already done and now let's go to this page. Now I'm just gonna quickly change the colors. You already got the idea how I'm going to do that. So let's just fast forward this. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I have this graph and it's really super easy to work with graphs. What I'm going to do is click on the graph and then up here I can edit it. First of all, I can change the color. So of course I'm going to use maybe the dark blue this time. And once I edit, I have this chart. I can just put in here the data that I need. I can change the numbers. I can change the names of the months and this is easily edited. So let's say that these are my numbers and I am going to leave this on a white background so it'll pop up. As if I'm gonna change the background to light blue, I think this is going to be too pale. So I'm just gonna leave this white so my graph will pop up. And this photo right here, this black and white photo, has nothing to do with my color sheen. So I'm just going to delete it or perhaps replace it with another photo. Now since this is talking about monthly clicks, again, I'm just gonna to go to photos and I'm gonna search for clicks. You know, this is maybe not your natural choice of words, but when you do this, sometimes you get so much inspiration. You can use these very general words to find some beautiful photos that will complement your design. So let's see what I get under click. And let's say I'm gonna take this photo, which I like its colors. I'm going to delete the filter, maybe enlarge it a bit. And let's see if I can move this a little so people can understand what they're seeing. Let's see if I just drag this a little bit more. I want it to be obvious that this is a clicking photo. So there you go. You have this. Maybe it's not the best photo, but I think it looks nice. And you can perhaps find a better one. Okay, this looks a lot better. Has better colors. And maybe I can move this a little bit and leave this here. So you really don't have to invent the wheel all over again. Just make your few adjustments and this whole social media report will look as if it's your own. So now let's go down here and see what else we have. I'm just going to delete a few pages. Here I have another page with a different kind of chart, actually a pie. And what I want to show you here is that you can adjust the colors easily according to your color palette. Now I don't like these colors, but once I click on this pie chart and I go to this color menu, the minute that I click on one of my colors from my color palette, all the colors of this pie chart will be according to that color. You see, if I click on this light blue, then it all complements the light blue. If I will click on this dark blue, I can play around with this and see what works best. Just for example, if I'll go to the pink, it will all complement the pink. So let's just stay with my blue and then I will just have again to change the colors. Super, super easy. I can still do the paste here because I haven't copied anything yet. And there you go. Now also in pie charts, you can edit the numbers, you can change them, and you can also change the pie itself. If you go to the black menu and you click on charts, if you don't see the charts here, it would be somewhere under more. See, there it is. Can just click on charts and I can pick a different pie chart if I want maybe a donut chart then I can change it and I can just replace it change the colors change the data whatever I need so I'm just going to delete this and I think this looks nice and then let's go to this page and meet the team so this is super easy and I can change the photos, of course. I think this is filtered. Let's see, yes, it is filtered. So I can do with or without filters. And that's it. My last page is the thank you page. I always like to make my last page a very big thank you. So I can just delete this box and delete these photos. And actually, on a personal note, I really like one photo that says it all. So I'm just going to delete everything. And I'm gonna go once again to photos and I'm going to search for a thank you photo. I can filter this by going here and asking for only vertical photos because my page is vertical. Maybe go with this. 
and change my contact information accordingly right here. This is my beautiful social media report. Two things to take into consideration. When you change the color of your text, this will change all the text in all your pages. So if you don't want to go back and forth, back and forth, think it through. Decide whether you want to do this per page or in one click for all. Now I can do a few more things here. I can add clickable links on any object here, but then I would have to share this social media report as a PDF, a website, or a presentation. I can also add some videos and animations, but then I will have to share this as a presentation, a website, or an MP4, but then my clickables will not be clickable. So take everything under consideration, understand with yourself exactly how you want to share this, and that's it. You have your social media report. That's it. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.